My name is Jack Miller, and I am on the council, and I'm also on this 50th anniversary committee for Chino Valley. I came to Prescott in 75, September 29th of 1975, and then I met my wife uh, who lived here in Chino, and we moved out here in uh, 81. When I first came here, I worked for U.S. Electrical Motors, which is where the Ruger factory is now. I worked there for 12 and a half years. Uh, then I, uh, I quit that and I was selected to be one of the first four hired at uh, the fire department here in Chino Valley. Um, very proud of that achievement in my life, very proud of Chino Valley. Uh, we, uh, I worked there for um, 24 years and uh, I started off as a firefighter and retired as a uh, battalion chief. Um, I have been involved with several organizations in the area, one of them being uh, CATPAW, which was Central Arizona Teen Pin and Association. We was with them for uh, uh, about 12 years, I think we did that. Uh, just been, uh, I've been, I'm now a builder in the area. I'm a, I'm a general contractor, a B general and uh, we build dog houses to custom homes. Well, uh, it was funny, if we had a call in Chino when we first started it in 87, July 1st of 87, uh, after eight o'clock at night, we didn't even turn the lights and sirens on. We just would drive there because uh, with the lights and sirens, we actually were going slower because people were trying to see what we were doing, where we were going. So it was easier just to, just to drive. And with that was the, all the way up until seven o'clock in the morning. You know, we'd, all night long we would just drive and do our thing, and then and handle the situation, and then go on from there. Um, a lot of running on your friends, people that you know, your friends as kids, you know, your friends as folks. Um, that was always a challenge. Yeah, you, know, you know, some good, some bad. I had the opportunity to deliver eleven babies in my career which was just awesome. I really didn't deliver them, I caught them. But uh, I was there and that's just a totally cool thing to see. And then, uh, unfortunately we put, had to run on a few things where we buried some of my friends as kids. And uh, that was always tough, you know, tough. But it's all parts of the job. I mean, best job in the world is fire department. Anybody that would want to get a job, not know what they want to do with their life, fire department's the way to go. Uh, what I really love about Chino Valley is, is uh, the family of the town, the family feel. Um, I remember one night when uh, my wife and I were dating, we stopped under the power lines on 89 south of town. And uh, five cars passed us. It was probably one o'clock in the morning. And we just stopped and was sitting on the tailgate looking at the stars, talking about life and new, new uh, relationship stuff. And, and I remember five cars passed us and four of them stopped to see. They would get out and go, hey, Jack, what do you, you know? And it was just like, man, this is a good town. I, I like this town. I mean, these people care about people. And that's why I think it is. It's just a feel in Chino Valley that, you know, if you're Chino Valley, that people care about you and you care about them. And I remember people's houses burning down and everybody showing up to help the people, help them move out, offering them places to stay, offer them clothes. Everybody calls Chino Valley Hicks, who got called Chip Chuckers, and I'm awful proud of that, you know, to be, okay, I can take that. You know, at least I'm not a city person that has to worry about the things that city people do. Happy anniversary, Chino Valley. You can be part of this community just by being here. Um, we need help, we need people's inputs, we need to know what you wanna do, we need to know how you'd see this, want to see this go, what direction, what would you like to see events-wise during the year. A year-long celebration, lots of times to get things done, but you got to let us know.